Good morning viewers. Uh, I'm Lachlan Tai and we're running a coaching program with the Elbows squad at the Elba Park Bowls Club here in Melbourne. Uh, before we get going, I'll introduce you to my delightful four colleagues. This is Chris O'Meer, who obviously we call Bear. This is Rowan Sharp, who obviously call Papa, or we do. Uh, Dean Milner, delightful Dino and Samantha Robinson, who we call Sam. So again, Sam, Dino, Papa, and Bear, and myself. We will cover five topics in series, uh, Matt Length being the first one, then we'll do a two series of warm-ups, then we'll talk about and show sensory awareness. We'll then do deliberate practice, which are two drills, and then finally we'll do what I call a team skills connect the jack. Which this is, is a just a talk thing and it won't be long, I trust. I use the concept of mat as a dimension because that's two feet or 60 centimeters, and I call it a of excellence. And I do it this way. If, and you can see that chalk mark on the bowl, and the boys and ladies can see the chalk mark. If that happens to be the perfect shot, what I'm saying is that if we go one revolution, approximately, it's a mat length. So that bowling from that end to here, if you're within a mat length, zone of excellence. Should you go past the jack, a zone of excellence. Should you go wide of the jack, from there, zone of excellence. And from here, if you go narrow of the jack, zone of excellence. So what I am saying to everyone, use this precise dimension as your measure. Parallel for me would be par three, par four, par five in a golf course. That is my parallel to that. So in summary, that's my concept of zone of excellence. So try and aspire to getting as many bowls as possible within mat length. And on that, I'll finish that first segment.